unschoolers. Are we lazy? Rebellious? Ignorant? Arrogant? Confused? Are we even homeschoolers? Unschooling is a non-traditional approach to education at home. Unschoolers report to their home state as homeschoolers, just like those who choose traditional home educational approaches. But what is unschooling in particular? Well, that gets tricky. Some say unschooling is natural learning, giving the impression that public or private school education is unnatural. According to educationcorner.com, unschooling is often called child-led learning. As this name suggests, unschooling allows children to follow their own interests at their own pace without direction from adults. In this sense, parents act less as teachers and more as facilitators, watching to see what the children are interested in and then providing the environment, resources, and opportunity to explore those interests. World schooling offers the entire globe as the child's classroom and invites a look at travel, experience, and culture as key reasons for education. We have occasionally called ourselves free schoolers, a name which denotes a lack of tether to traditional educational experiences. And there are so many other various cutesy, muddy phrases. John Holt is credited with creating the term unschooling. He wrote a book in 1981 called Teach Your Own. In 2003, Pat Ferenga co-authored an updated version and said, when pressed, I define unschooling as allowing children as much freedom to learn in the world as their parents can comfortably bear. You have a say in your child's education because you are the one offering your child education. Your comfort level is extremely important because your children will learn a great number of their beliefs and attitudes from you. You also are their main source of comfort, encouragement, and love. Learning can often be exciting, but some children experience a high amount of discomfort and uncertainty. You can provide them with a relaxed, unhurried environment in which to settle their fears and learn to love the journey toward personal success. After Holt's death, a range of unschooling practitioners and observers defined the term in various ways. For instance, the Free Child Project defines unschooling as the process of learning through life without formalized or institutionalized classrooms or schoolwork. This description offers a wide range of activities as pathways to learning. Take advantage of them. I would also encourage you to take an assessing look at each of your children individually. Notice what they are drawn towards, what they obsess over, what they ask you to participate in with them, what they ask you to purchase, and what they talk about most often. These will be excellent indications of what subjects would potentially lead them into their education. Don't be afraid to try new things together. Sometimes a little encouragement from a loving parent is all it takes to boost a child's confidence enough to attempt what they normally would not. And if you do not hold them to an unnecessary ideal, thinking they should be exactly on par with other students their age, they could very well surprise you and surpass even your wildest hopes. But even if your children do not hold a personal desire for high achievement, love them where they are and accept that each person is ultimately responsible for his or her own education. So what does unschooling look like? Well, quite honestly, anything. Most unschoolers do not use a complete curriculum to cover all their educational bases, but many families still use some. I myself use two distinct curricula for science and history because they best help my children learn those subjects. In addition to those options, we read a vast amount of what are called living books. 
which explain and tell stories in order to help and enhance learning. Here's an example. One of my children is very into birds. He uses books like Bird Builds a Nest, The Burgess Bird Book for Children, and 100 Birds and How They Got Their Names as part of his everyday studies. And I'm not kidding, he loves them. They lead him through learning in a way that a normal textbook would not. Math can be done in the kitchen and at the grocery store. Science could be experienced hands-on in labs, backyards, and medical facilities. Government can be witnessed in courtrooms, marches, and voting booths. These are just, there are just so many options, I cannot possibly list them all. Subjects also blend into each other. Historical literature covers both history and reading comprehension. Make it a biography about Sir Isaac Newton, and you also have science and math. Now add experiments into the theory of gravity alongside a scientist in a lab, and you've offered your child a real-world experience full of rich, lasting education that they take personally, ingraining what they've learned into a useful tool for their future. Never underestimate the impact a hands-on experience can have on a brain fascinated by a subject. As an unschooling parent, you will have more opportunities to give your children these enhanced kinds of experiences because you have not limited them to a textbook in a classroom. There is no possible way to include all that unschooling could be in one short video. Unschooling is an experience for your entire family. A family is a unit, so consider homeschooling as a family activity. Create routines rather than schedules to be sure your family is working your education rather than the other way around. You are not beholden to your lesson plans. They work for you. If they don't work, change them. This is what freedom in education looks like. One more thing I would like to mention is what unschooling is not. I didn't originally include a description of unschooling as defined by the Merriam-Webster Dictionary which says, unschooling means to make one disregard schooling or training. As you can see, unschoolers do not disregard our children's educations, but rather fit the education to each child, rather than expecting the child to come out the other side of school as a person who knows, looks, and lives like every other person who went through the same school experience. I like to think we need many versions of persons, not an army of sameness the world over. And apparently, George Bernard Shaw agreed. He said, what we want to see is the child in pursuit of knowledge, not knowledge in pursuit of the child. And I think this very succinctly describes our goal. Unschooling is a lifestyle. Expect that some things will change. Some aspects of this may be more difficult than you imagined. That's okay. It's all a learning experience. Learn to enjoy the process. Love your family through it all, and you'll do great.